Hello, uh, welcome to New School of Architecture and Design. Today we're talking about graduate construction management. It is a master's degree in construction management. Uh, I'm Steve Matley. I am the chair of the program. Um, my background is actually a master's of business and an undergrad in business. I have 25 years working in the construction industry, working as an agency construction manager, as a general contractor, as a VP of a home builder, as a developer, as a land and entitlement uh, expert, as a real estate investor. So I've got a long background uh, and a wide background in construction management and related fields. And joining me is George Welsh, who was very much a part of creating this program and getting it up and running. Welcome, George. Hi, Steve, good to see you again. Um, yeah, this is um, actually my 10th year that I've been involved with the programs at New School. And uh, I was part of the original team back in 2010 that uh, both uh, wrote and created the Masters of Construction Management program. And um, I've been involved with it ever since, both uh, teaching it as well as managing the, uh, the program. And uh, I look forward to having the opportunity to speak with you a little bit about why New School and why New School's MCM program. And before we go further, I want to uh, thank everybody for taking time to join us today. I know everybody's very busy. Uh, obviously, if you clicked on this, you have an interest in this program. So we're gonna make this as concise and informative as we can and go through fairly quickly. And I wanna encourage you, if you have questions, if you need more information, at the end of this, we will have a slide that shows you how to get hold of people at the school, including George and myself, to ask questions and get more information on how this works. So let's jump right into it and talk about the Masters of Construction Management at New School of Architecture and Design. What's great about this program, it's 100% completely delivered online asynchronously. And that means you can do this whenever you have time to do it. It doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean that you can just phone it in, that's not the way this works. This is still a high rigor master's degree program, but it's flexible time. Not necessarily less time, but flexible time. You know, I think it's really important, Steve, that we talk about the fact that this is completely online. It doesn't mean you can do it when you want to. It means that there's not a specific time that you have to do it every day. But it is a definitely cadenced program it requires you to do things and turn them in on a regular basis, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday of almost every week. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to do it at two o'clock in the afternoon. You can do it in the evening after the kids are put to bed, in the morning before everybody else gets up. That's where your flexible time comes in. But a asynchronously delivered class doesn't mean that you have to be in the classroom at the same time as the rest of your classmates. It allows you to do it on your schedule, but within the cadence of the week. Which is great for students that are in many different time zones. Uh, it, it can work around their schedules, regardless of which time zone they're in, even around the world. Uh, again, it's, it is completely online. Our focus in, the, in this program, uh, this is not the basic skills of construction management like estimating scheduling. Yes, you're going to talk about some of that stuff. It's not the basics. This is based on a higher level, and we're looking at team building, decision making, leadership. This is specifically designed for people that are moving from another professional dis discipline and need the construction management discipline to go with it. For example, professional engineers, architects, designers that are in the industry and, and maybe they've got a business degree or maybe they've got a real estate or a finance degree and they find themselves in this industry. This is also for people that maybe have a construction management background and education that wanna move up. They wanna get into the higher level of management in their company. You will learn high level construction management, leadership and decision-making skills. And the faculty writing. are industry professionals. When we were originally writing the program, we also looked at the fact that about 55% of the people in the construction industry do not have a building sciences degree. They do not have an architecture degree or an engineering degree. And so we wrote a master's level construction management program that did not require that underlying building sciences degree. So there can be in an office people with an English degree or an accounting degree 
or things like that that want to get up into the higher levels of management within their firm. And this program is designed to help them do that. And this is the exact kind of degree I wish existed when I was at the point that I was going through school because I have an undergrad in business and I have an MBA. This would have been perfect for me because I was in the construction industry and took the business degree because I could not find a construction related master's degree accessible to me at that time. So this is written for people just like I am. I was in the industry at that time. Our faculty are top quality uh, faculty, and because it's online, we're not limited to just who we can find in a commutable radius around our campus. Our faculty come from across the country, from uh, out of the best engineering schools in the country that um, teach our classes. And in addition to that, they're all professionals. They, they work in the industry in different facets and specialties of the industry and bring that to the online classroom. Initially, when we were looking to staff the faculty on this, we looked to um, the schools around Georgia Tech and uh, were able to find several people because of its architecture and construction management programs, we found that we found faculty that were really in sync with what we were looking to do in this program. And that faculty has been with us for throughout the last 10 years. So this is what the program tells, the basic topics that are covered in the program. And as you look over this, you'll see this is not the basics or the essentials of construction management like you would find in an undergrad. This program was not designed to be an advanced version of an undergrad degree. It is a separate degree for leaders and decision makers in the industry. Uh, George, you can talk through this because being uh, one of the creators of the program and also teaching all of these uh, topics in the program, you can speak to them with great expertise. Sure. You'll, you'll notice that there's eight, course, uh, eight courses, and that means that you take two each quarter, and you take it for four quarters, and your program is complete. So within 12 months, you can be done. And what we did is the first four are, I'm going to say, applied uh, technology courses. And these are the ones where we look at the skills, the technical skills of construction management, but we don't look at them one skill at a time. We look at the skills integrated. And then the last four courses are courses that deal with the leadership and the management of the industry. And so what we recommend is that you take one technology and one leadership management course each quarter. And through doing those, you can complete this program in 12 months. Uh, it is 12 credits that you would take each quarter. And that 12 credits means that you're gonna spend somewhere between 30 and 35 hours a week on class work in, uh, in reading, writing, researching, and submitting your, your items. But you can do that while you're working full time. We found that that has been a very common thing amongst our, our graduates is that they were able to earn while they learned. They did not have to leave their business and their job where they were located to come to San Diego to go to school because this thing is 100% online. And, and again, because uh, many of our students are working in the industry in some capacity already, what they learn in class this week, they can apply on the job this week as they uh, and improve and they can become better leaders and more valuable employees and project managers in their companies while they're going through the program. Interesting story, George. I, I was uh, taking a group of our students to one of the conferences that we, we do take our students to and in the queue waiting to get on the airplane, a gentleman noticed the shirt I was wearing said new school. And he said, I need to talk to you as we boarded. About 30 minutes into the flight, we were able to move around. He came back and sat next to me. I happened to be very fortunate on that flight. Uh, both seats next to me were empty. And so he sat down next to me and I found out he was one of our current MCM students. And he was working for one of the big contracting firms. And he was actually flying to the same conference we were going to to an accept an award on a major hospital project that he had just completed in Southern California. So our students are out there doing this every day. And so the great thing is not just from the instructors will you learn, but from your cohort, when you work on team projects, you're working 
with other students who are in the industry and have things to share with you? You know, that's actually a really important element of the uh, of the program too. We, we totally believe in uh, project-based learning at New School and in the master's program, we do group projects in uh, every quarter. And um, one of the reasons why we, we feel real strong about the way this program has been written is it was written kind of the way that we do business in our industry today. In other words, you can be a CM in San Diego who's working on a project that has an architect in New York, an engineer in Mumbai, a uh, modeler that's based out of Vietnam, and working on building a project in Thailand. And you're never gonna be able to sit around the desk in the office at the same time. So you sure. need to learn to work asynchronously. You need to learn to be able to write properly, write successfully and write um, with support for the ideas that you put out. And as you go through this course, it's going to improve both your communication skills as well as the research to back up the information that you're disseminating to the rest of your team. So understanding that group projects are, there are very few buildings that are built by one person. You know, when we look at the building across the street from school, there are probably, eh, I'm going to guess, more than a thousand people who were employed on site over the course of the 35 stories. But right. those thousand people were probably backed up by another 10,000 people who worked in industries that manufactured the parts that were then shipped to the job site. Right. So knowing that we've got to be able to deliver effective communications that will travel both up and down the uh, logistics chain in our projects. It's really, really crucial. And that's the way we wrote this program. That's right. So we already mentioned we have very experienced faculty and they're not just highly educated. They're also very experienced in the industry. We've got the best of both worlds. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the faculty we have. Very high placement rate for our graduates. Now, Granted, many of them come in already employed, but there's many that come in because they are doing a shift. They've decided they want to do something different in their lives than what they've been doing. And they take this program and, and they can get into the door of some of the best companies in the country. And we have uh, at, the, at the end of this program, we'll go through some of the companies that our alums are currently working with. Our alums out of the program are very accomplished. As I mentioned, we have the ones who was still a student who had won an award for one of his projects. Um, I have run into alums at different conferences um, and student competitions that we do, and they are there recruiting our current students. They are there representing their companies. They are there presenting. Um, I've been to a CMAA conference and watched uh, one of our instructors presenting out there. Um, we have very accomplished alums as well as very accomplished faculty in this program. And the focus here is teaching the skills so you can use tools that don't even exist yet. Um, it's, 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 we could teach all the latest and greatest software applications, but you know what, in about four or five years, all that stuff is obsolete. It, it's completely useless. Uh, I think about the programs and the applications I was using between 2000 and 2005. I was thinking what I was using back in the 90s. All that stuff's been replaced with newer, better, faster, more efficient applications from companies that didn't exist back then. And the principles behind them are all the same. Learning that's just a tool to make your job do better. And if you understand the processes and how to use the tool, you can use whatever tools out there. Well, and as we look at the way that... Um... The way that we, we're approaching education right now is we're looking at how do we make sure that our students are prepared for their careers of the next 40 to 50 years, as opposed to teaching them how to uh, relive what we did over the past 40 years. And I think you're going to find that in our industry, what we're seeing is more and it still requires you to put one brick on top of the next one. And the issue is, is that our industry is finding ways of making those bricks larger and larger. I, I recall, Steve, the, the conversation you have about 
the hotel in New York that's literally building 100% outfitted all the way down to the towels, hotel rooms that are being delivered to the job site and then lifted in place and put into the system. So they're manufactured in Poland, shipped across the water and then brought through the streets of Manhattan and dropped um, as complete units in, in be creating a high rise hotel. And so it's learning to think that new modular way of doing it, the prefabrication ways, the, the ways where we can take cost out of our buildings from the job site and bring the assembly of the buildings together on the job site. And, and at the same time, yes, balancing the, the move towards sustainable construction, balancing all the new regulations and restrictions and constraints that come in because of environmental concerns and legal issues and safety issues and all the stuff that comes in, balancing all that out and still trying to create a project that comes in on time, on budget and meets the owner's requirements. So let me just touch on this last item on this slide real quick because I've mentioned it a couple of times about we wanted to design this program so it could be done in 12 months in one year. And I wanna be clear with you that you're not required to do it in 12 months. Because we offer every module every quarter, you could take one quarter, the first quarter and two the second quarter and two and two, and then just do a final single course in the end. Or if your life work balance was difficult enough that you could only take one course a quarter, you could complete the degree in 24 months. So the flexibility for you, both time of day and day of week, as well as month of year is available to you through this program. And that's important because sometimes as we work in this industry, projects come up we didn't plan. Six months later, our schedule looks very different than it did six months ago. Yes. Correct. So what, what, do you, what do our alums do with these degrees? What kind of projects, uh, jobs do they have? What kind of positions do they get? Uh, well, some work in BIM and VDC, uh, virtual design and construction, the, uh, the realm of digitally envisioning projects before they exist. Some work in the sustainability sector of it. Some are doing high level cost estimating and life cycle cost analysis ahead of a project. Uh, some are working as just project managers, um, some working on the site, coordinating from there. And, there. and there's a lot of other positions that people are working in out there that have come through our school. Well, in, in addition to the ones that we've listed here, you've also got the C-suite of the mm -hmm. construction industry. A lot of people who are um, looking to ultimately be in the highest levels of their firms are going to need to have this level of education to be able to make those steps up into the C-suites. And therefore, it's really a valuable, uh, when, we, when we wrote this, we were at the tail end of the 2008 uh, recession. And uh, most of the middle management people in the industry had been, um, had their positions cut because of the recession. And the leadership was looking at wanting to retire, but having no one behind them that they could rely on to manage their companies after they retired. And so this is a program that will help you be prepared for those type of roles. And here's a list of just some of the companies. It's not an exhaustive list at all. It's a list of some of the companies that our alums currently work with. And you can see they are some of the best known and largest and most reputable companies in the industry. Um, and, and some of our companies and some are, are public organizations. For example, the uh, two universities listed there, uh, we have students that are working in the facilities department, but we have students doing a lot of work for a lot of different companies in a lot of different platforms. Um, meaning some of them are working traditional delivery, some are working on design build projects, some are working in fully integrated project delivery, some are working high rises, some are working in infrastructure. It's, it's a wide range of where our alums work and what they do. And, and so the, the opportunities are as endless as the, the industry is. 
Yeah, I think that um, just seeing where um, where some of our successful students have uh, have ended up has been very interesting. I've been able to maintain uh, contacts with quite a few of our graduates through LinkedIn and uh, seeing what their projects are looking like, how they're growing in their firms that they're uh, involved with has been very gratifying. So we want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, George, I'll let you wrap up with some final thoughts. Okay. Um, well, first of all, this is a great program if you want to make the next steps in your, um, in your career. It's really important for you to know that you can still earn while you learn. You don't have to stop your life and go to some uh, different city for two years to be able to get a degree to advance your career. You can stay involved and engaged with your company while you increase your education and skills levels. So please talk to us about it. Um, uh, you've got the enrollment um, email there. If you email them directly, they will put you in touch with us. If you want to talk to either myself or Steve, and uh, we'll be glad to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you to teach you a little bit more about the program. I think if you visit our new school arch.edu site, you can see the catalog. It'll give you a, uh, a more in-depth look at what the contents of these courses are. And I think it'll give you the opportunity to see that this is a great uh, program for you to be engaged with. And I want to end up by saying, for those of you that have checked this out, first of all, congratulations on taking a positive step towards a very bright future in this industry, either moving further up in this industry or coming into an industry that um, is very robust. And so it is, uh, it's, it's a stable and robust profession to be in. And uh, go do your homework and do your research and check out uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics websites and you'll find that, that the salaries in construction management are substantially higher than many of the other disciplines that you can get degrees in. So I wanna thank you for attending uh, this, this little webinar and encourage you to do the research, contact the school, ask the questions, find out what it takes to, to qualify, to register, to enroll. And we look forward to seeing you in the very near future in one of our classes.